Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got another book review for you today. This book I'm sort of eh, eh, on. It is called The Like Switch. You can check it out here. If you're interested in all of my book reviews, you want to see all the ones I've done so far. I've done, I read about two to three books a week. Typically, listen to them on audio. You can, you can check that out here. So let's, I'm going to jump right into this book. This book seemed really, really good. It started off great. The the author set up this this whole thing that got you very very interested. He said he said that he was teaching this class. He, he's an ex FBI agent, by the way, and he had some pretty interesting stories. Really, really good setup. He said he's teaching this class. These kids start showing up early for the class. He's like, "What's going on?" And he basically said that this one kid that had graduated from the class, he had said that he bet them that he could get this girl to come over from this bar at the table without talking to her and she would come over to, to their table and she did and then all these kids show up but he never tells you how he did it <laughs> he leads, leads you to believe in the in the book that he's he's going to give you some magic power and while i agree with a lot of the content of the book of what he says in the book he he lays out this basic formula for getting people to like you and and he, and, and and this is based on some pretty good science some pretty good evidence and and some good psychology so I, i'm not disagreeing with that i just feel like there's a little bit of i hate to say negative things ever but there's a little bit of fluff in the book to be honest with you but you know the core foundation of this is essentially this is that in order to build attraction to, to get people to like you what you got to have is proximity so you got to be around for a while and then you've got to have duration so the length of time that you're you're with them and then you've got to have intensity some kind of conversation something that you're saying that you're talking and he gives some some ways that he's done this in order to flip agents over to, you know spies and the fbi so he's got some serious credibility and at the very end of the book he gives a story from way back when of i, I can't remember exactly what it was but it's this this story that very very basically validates all of the points that he talks about as far as psychology where this guy's trying to get these letters back these love letters that insulted the the crown of i forget if it was germany or i don't i don't remember the exact details so he goes to england and he like gets proximity with this this woman and he's riding horses and he he basically ends up getting to the point where she basically gives him what what he wants he's, he's built that up he, that relationship he's he's figured out that that formula or that system and, and he walks through that and so i feel like the beginning of the book and the end of the book are very very valuable but in between there's some stuff on like social media and how the protocols you should use for your cell phone and, and stuff like that and that to me it was like a little bit like I want to say a little bit preachy, a little bit kind of presumptuous, not very valuable to the, to the point I would have liked to have more in depth. I'd like to really zone in. This is what I was hoping that the book was, was that I was hoping that he would take those those principles and really give you some very, very tactical techniques and really hone in on how these things work and, and how you could set up proximity and how you could use that in order to. And I believe that he's got the knowledge. I believe that he didn't share it all. That, that's, that's the kind of thing I feel like like this guy from what he said what he's done you know kind of the way that he's he's talked about it i feel like he held back some of the deeper secrets in some of the techniques that that he used and he kind of went to the surface level and maybe because some of it is is classified maybe because some of it is is that, that he doesn't want to give away that that is you know some of his training I, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. I could just sometimes I, I go out there on a on a limb and I'm I'm totally in the wrong place. But in general, I thought the book was was good. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad. It had good reviews. That's why you know I, most of the books that you you'll find that I review are generally good books because remember I vetted them ahead of time. I have a list. I don't read books unless they're highly highly recommended and there's a really good chance that it's going to be a really good book. So I read mostly good books, right? So this is in the good book care category, but it's not the great. It's not one of the ones that I'm like, oh, you got to read this book. You know, there, there's a, a few of those. And like I said, you can check out my playlist here of all the book reviews and you can find those there. So, you know, this is a book that you might find useful. But I would probably get the cliff notes on this one. I hate to say that, but to be honest with you. So again, it's called The Like Switch. Let me know if you really like this, if I missed something from this. But that was my take on it. And I'm always curious to hear your opinion. If you like this video, if you want to get more book reviews so that you don't have to read 
50 or 60 books a year. You can just read the ones that I say are the best ones, if you trust my opinion. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below. If you're already a subscriber, I appreciate you. Take care.